when most people think of Nîmes, France, they probably think of the, the Roman theater, or perhaps the Pont de Gare that's somewhere near here, some ancient Roman ruins. But the truth is, Nîmes has a very interesting history, somewhat parallel to Gloversville, believe it or not. <coughs> Here's the stretch. Nîmes, famous for fabric, was first manufactured here. Fabric was called of Nîmes, or de Nîmes, denim. So denim was invented in this city, but you won't know it today, because now the city's long past the denim trade. It's a natural evolution, much like Gloversville, famous for gloves, is now long past the glove, the glove trade. There may still be some businesses there, but the reality is times change. First of all, these guys were the only ones who invented the product, denim. So obviously, they had a monopoly on that trade at first, but that's not something that could stay forever. <clears throat> all somebody, like Levi Strauss, had to do was look at that denim and say, I can manufacture this differently, cheaper, with cheaper labor, different uh, human capital, different physical capital, different machinery. And that's what happens. That's why the glove trade, which initially was close to the Adirondacks, so the supply was very expensive to get that supply brought in. Transportation was a huge cost in the old days. Now it's a much cheaper, much more annoying cost. So now, gloves, gloves can come from anywhere to be manufactured in gloves or anywhere else. It's not like you're going to take it to the hide from the Adirondacks or from the central leather stocking region and tan it in Gloversville and ship it down rivers to get it to port. Now, there's planes, there's trucks, there's boats, there's lots of different ways to get those goods to market. And you can get it very cheaply from faraway places like Argentina, as an example. There you might find a much greater leather trade today because, in part, labor's cheaper. So here in France, labor's no longer as cheap as it once was. Again, it's no longer manufactured.